Hi y'all, so I want to make this video very serious about this, so I'm gonna keep this short for all the new people. Subscribe, like the videos, stock market news and videos and stuff related to kind of what I want to talk about, but not really. This isn't, I want to say first, I heard this from somebody that I am close with and I regard as very smart financially, and they shared this with me and I thought I should share this with you guys. I think it's very important, but even before that too, I want you guys to share it with people. If you think somebody should hear this and don't share it like a told you so type thing, but like really I think everybody needs to hear this because things are changing with the market and the economy. Now I'm not saying this to say the stock market's gonna crash and we're gonna enter some deep crazy world where you need gold and silver and your ammo and all. No, that's not what I'm getting at, but if you have watched my videos, go watch when I ended the pledge class last year. Before that, I even said in that announcement that 2018 is a year where everybody's sleeping. People got too complacent in 2018. I think myself included, and I still did good. You know, I used, that's why I said, I said, I'm, I'm gonna, I could have done a lot better, but I still did accomplish a lot. But I saw the complacency. I said, fuck this. I'm not gonna waste my time online in this. I'm gonna go get out, get what I want. And I did it, you know. I went, I bought this house. You guys just go see when I bought this house. You know, I did that from there. I did a lot of things, new cars. I bought my mom a house. I did very, very well in many other endeavors. And I'm, I'm proud of myself. But it was the year I was thinking and where we are. And now coming into 2019, what I'm trying to tell you guys is this this is what i was told and i really firmly believe it that's why i want you guys to just get in the game okay now is the time to really fix up and get your shit together essentially if 2018 2017 you weren't making money uh or it was tough right let's say it was tough for you 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 were barely making it you you wanted to start your business you wanted to do trading you wanted to do real estate stuff got in the way medical bills you know all sorts of things and even just your career and what you want to accomplish and progress in life, you're in especially your savings. That is a huge thing. And it's just, if that wasn't good in, in 2018 and that wasn't enough for you and it was still hard to live the life you want and what you wanted and you want more, you feel like you deserve more, 2019 is going to be even harder. And what I'm saying that is because the climate for investors for both rich people and poor people is changing, but especially people with money and investors and what happens when prices of real estate goes down, when certain industries are all going down, but it's not about them crashing because 2019 will probably be just the year of volatility. But in that volatility, just like the real estate market went down for four or five months, people didn't care. And then after six, seven months, people start to care. Same thing with the stock market correcting, going down and all that. And I just think we're going to experience volatility and in a sense where it is going to change a lot of things. Jack, shut up. I have to lock him in the gate now or behind the gate because he just ran. He literally ran up all the way up this mountain. It scared the shit out of me. But uh, <laughs> so that's the, the crying husky in the back. But what I'm telling you guys, though, is the volatility is going to be there where just in the yield curves already flattened investors expectations for both stocks sales for real estate for everything it's going to be harder you know and if you guys go watch my videos since 2014 i've been screaming from the rooftops take the opportunity there's opportunity everywhere it's there it's there you got to do it because this was the time during the, those run-ups you know think 2002 or 2003 to 2006 7 you could have made a lot of money and it was something like that. I really think we're wrapping up 2006 here and 2019 is going to be 2007, whereas the market is still going to be up. But this is where the volatility starts going up, where some things are up, but things start crashing at the same time. And then come a year later, we'll probably get it. Could it happen before then? I do. I'm, I'm worried about what's going to happen in February or March of 2019. That is something I'm very, very, you know, and it's not for like conspiracy reasons or anything, just the data we have, the world events coming up where governments need to decide things, trade war, and what it means for economies. But tensions are changing in the business environment. And how companies, pretty much what I'm telling you is gonna be harder, it's gonna be harder for businesses to make money, big businesses. So what do you think is gonna happen for you guys? So that's my warning. And I really want you guys to be on top of this because what I'm trying to tell you now, 
if you got to work hard right now and really start thinking about it, now is not a time to be sitting down. And with the, I mean that metaphorically, but also physically. You guys got to get out there, really start writing down your goals. You see how I go about trading. I take it very seriously. If you watch the streams, you guys have seen that. And treat everything like that. Treat your businesses like that. You have a goal you wanted to comp like just write it down and get to it and start finding a way now how you could speed this up and guess what if i'm wrong great you just got a, a, a nice ass whooping and you got your shit done but i don't think i'm gonna be wrong i don't think the people who told me are wrong i think the signs are there i hope i'm wrong you know that's it because it's chill you know it's better to be wrong even you know the video i posted stock market gap it's funny because i was wrong but i was right i was right that it went didn't gap down went down and then it came back up but and you know people have already commented on the video like oh yeah and i was just like dude you, you really think you know iv went up that much my puts went down i didn't sell them no I'm, I'm gonna take it you know but if i was wrong and it didn't gap up my amazon calls would have did great uh and you know some of my other calls i held did do great i still ended up net positive on the day which is awesome uh, especially with what i could have made and what i was up and, and what i could have lost too but you know Hopefully you guys see it. What I'm trying to tell you, get to work, save. If you guys don't have a savings plan right now for money, you do richest man in Babylon, easy shit, man. Every dollar you touch, put 10 cents away. So every 100 bucks you put, put 10 bucks instantly into account before you spend anything. You might be like, oh, I don't have enough money to, you know, oh, I, I need to pay this. Just cut, your, cut yourself a check first, take your 10%, hide it from yourself, and you'll find a way to live without everything else. I promise you. Uh, it's phenomenal how it works. Really, it's, it's truly a phenomenon. So that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think what other warning. Just be be diligent, be attentive, uh, Don't and just don't get too complacent. And understand, too, that it's just like I was explaining on the options. When, when a lot of people are aware of this, if people keep living their life, you know, you truly have an advantage when you are aware of something and when you know and it's not and i'm saying this don't panic this isn't supposed to be a negative message at all this is supposed to be very positive this is saying hey it's game time we're entering fourth quarter if you guys are trying to pursue stuff anything now's not the time to play around uh again why am i posting youtube videos again uh one i'm not playing around and i i know this stuff you guys see me seven hours i could talk of this i feel like i need to share this with people again the guy who shared this information with me is crazy, and I feel the need to share it with you guys because he told me that out of, yo, hey, man, I know you want to do even better. I know you're doing good in the world, but now you got to start thinking, man, this is that time you've been waiting for because I was shit. He knows my thoughts and my ideas, so that's why he said be smart, be wise, and take advantage of it, but you got to do so in the sense that they, you can't play around anymore and that's what i'm trying to tell you guys there's no more playing around with your time your money or anything you don't have more time to lose you don't have money to lose because it, it's you know we've taken it for granted over you know with how good the economy has been and again even if it continues awesome at least get a running start into 2019 but hopefully some fear will kick you in the ass but it, it shouldn't and i'm saying don't panic don't go sell stocks don't go do that i know someone came in the stream you got to use your mind you know, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not telling you guys just go panic and act. Acting doesn't create anything. Educate yourself, practice, make a game plan, make goals. And it's not just in the, in the same respect too. It's not some bullshit, just motivation. Oh, do this. You get the right mindset. You're going to make a lot of money. Yeah. Pay me all this money to tell you to be positive. No, it's not. But those are actual real things you should be doing. It's a mix of actually moving, but then thinking and using your brain, finding the right answer finding the best optimal outcome and really protect your self-interest you guys care about yourself and you really do now's the time but timing is interesting timing is important especially as it relates to options and where we're going now but i'm excited for all this you guys could hear me when the market's going up market down i'm literally laughing and i'm, I'm excited for all this because i'm just seeing what's going on in the world and there's a lot of things things are different it feels like a movie it feels surreal and then i know too looking back at it we're going to look back and say wow we overreacted there we underreacted there and that's the stuff you're going to learn off of but all in all at the end of the day the advice i'm giving you here do not panic and you don't you could take the dates off of it just start getting serious put your money to work not in dumb ways save it be smart and understand you know you got a shot clock right now and if you don't believe it and don't agree with it that's fine don't have to 2019 starting 
Go do something, man. Go do some shit. And if you don't believe it, please fact check me. Go looking around. Just go look around what's going on. You know, this isn't me talking. I don't come with up these with ideas for nothing. I could just clickbait another random title if I really want it. Or I'll go tag some other guru if I wanted views. So this is for you guys who actually listen. I really appreciate you guys. I want you in the right mindset. I want you to be smart. I want you ready to go. I love y'all. Stay in school. Check out. Oh, dude, that house. My neighbor's house they're building is fucking dope. It's going to be like 10 mil. Look at that staircase. Dope. Awesome. Love y'all. Peace.